Hello guys! So for today's video, pag-uusapan natin is about yung ating first Metro Securities application and how do you use it and how do you buy and sell stocks using this application and what are the functions na pwede mo rin magamit sa pagde-design kung ano yung stock na bibili mo or kung magkano mo ibebenta. So lahat ng yan, if you're interested, please check this video out. Hello guys! So, welcome back to our channel. So, for today's video, yun na nga. Iwawalk through kayo dito sa first Metro Securities application natin and how do you buy and sell stocks using this application. Okay? So, simulan na natin. Okay? So, ang una yung gagawin, syempre, of course, is to download yung ating application. So, assuming nakapag-register na kayo sa first Metro Securities and approved na yung account nyo, i-download yun yung application. Okay? Ang pangalan ng application natin is first Metro Sec Go. Ayan, na-download nyo siya sa App Store or Play Store. Ayan, kapag ka na-download nyo na siya, then click open. And then, ito lalabas yung ating login screen. Nakalagay dito yung username and then your password. Of course, you have to input your username and then your password. So, mag-login na tayo, okay? Kapag ka nakapag-login ka na, ang sasalubong sa'yo na first screen will be yung ating index. So, ano ba yung PSEI? PSEI means Philippine Stock Exchange Index and it is comprised of yung ating top 30 biggest companies here in the Philippines and number one jan of course yung SM Group and then nandyan din yung Ayala Group di ba and then yung ating mga banks BDO BPI di ba nandyan yun sa ating PSEI and it is comprised of 30 companies nga and nakalagay dito 6269.36 so ito yung barometer or yung measurement ng ating index and how does it perform during the day and last Friday ang performance nito is it is up by 32.9 96 points or 0.53%. Ano ba yung significance nitong PSEI? Ang significance kasi nitong PSEI is that it depicts yung ating general sentiment for the market. Ano ba yung general sentiment for the top 30 companies here in the Philippines? Pataas ba or pababa? And kung makikita nyo dito, ang ating sentiment is green. So more or less, ang sentiment during the day is pataas. ba? Kasi nga green siya. And then dito sa baba, makikita nyo din yung ating up, unchanged, and then down, and then total number of stocks na pwede mong i-trade. And dito, 50 stocks yung umangat during Friday. And then, ang change during Friday, 52 stocks. And then, yung down is 152. So, from this number, di ba, malalaman nyo na, uy, bakit green yung PSEI natin? Pero, 152 stocks yung bumaba. Kasi yung PSEI natin, umangat yan dahil sa several stocks na malalaki yung weight sa index. Like yung SM, and then, SMPH, SM Prime Holdings, di ba? Yung SM Group natin. Umangat yan, nabuhat yung PSEI. Pero overall kasi, yung ating market is down. Kaya makikita mo dito sa DN, 152 stocks out of 254 na stocks yung down. So that's more or less 50 to 60%, di ba? So more than half yung ating nag-down na stocks. And ayun, so ang general sentiment pa rin is still bearish kasi madami pa rin yung stocks na bumabagsak, di ba? Okay, so punta naman tayo sa next screen na makikita nyo dito. Click nyo tong index and then makikita nyo dito yung ating sub-indices. At na namang sub-indices, di ba meron tayong PSEI, yung ating top 30 companies. Meron din tayo mga sub-indices. So kung gusto nyo nang tingnan yung, kurari, financial industry, kasi gusto mo mag-invest sa mga banko. Yung mga banko, nandito yan under the financial industry. And kung titingnan mo yung general bank performance during the day, it is down by 0.31%. And kung makikita mo dito, lahat ng industry is almost down. Maliban sa holding company, ayun nga, nandyan si SM, di ba? Si SM up siya ng 4% during the day. And ayun, nabuhat niya lang yung buong stock exchange index. Ayan. Okay, ayun yung sub-indices natin. So, kung gusto nyo mag-invest sa specific industry, tingnan nyo din itong sub-indices kung paano nagpe-perform yung mga companies under that industry. ba? Okay. And then, click nyo ulit itong ating drop-down. Meron pa dito yung local foreign trades. Ito naman kung gusto nyo tingnan, sino ba yung nagte-trade and nag invest Local ba or foreign? Kung makita nyo dito, ang composition is 53% local and then 47% foreign. So, malaki pa rin yung participation ng mga foreigner o mga banyaga natin, 47%. Ayan, so if we can encourage more Filipinos, maybe we can increase yung local participation, di ba? Kasi majority pa rin ng ating stock market is derived from the foreign transactions. Ayan, 47% yung ating foreign transactions. Okay, and then click nyo ulit yung drop down. Nandito, makita nyo rin yung ating most active and then top traded. 
Ano yung nakalagay dito? Dito sa left side, makikita nyo yung ating mga stocks na pinakabalaki in terms of value na tinrade noong last trading day. Eh, number one dyan, si AC Energy. Ang total value traded niya, 1.03 billion. Wow, napakalaki nun. And then, ang sumunod, si SM Prime Holdings, 862 point forty eight million and then nasa right side naman ito si ASEN and then Mega World yun ang umuuna so ito naman in terms of the number of transactions yun nasa left ito in terms of value in pesos and then yun nasa right side in terms of the number of transactions ilang trade ba yun naganap dito kay ASEN ang total trades na naganap is fourteen thousand four hundred thirty five Okay, kay Mega World naman, 7,365. So, ano yung significance nito most active and then top traded na stock sa inyong pag-invest? So, basically, dapat iniiwasan mo mag-invest doon sa mga companies na very low yung value traded. Kasi, for example, meron kang 1 million pesos. And then, ang value traded lang doon sa stock na pinag-investan mo, 100,000. Then, may hirapan ka in terms of liquidity kasi wala masyado nagbebenta and bumibili doon sa stock na yun, di ba? Kaya, dapat kinoconsider nyo rin yung ating value traded for a stock. So for me, I trade like yung mga stocks na more than 5 million. Okay? Yung value traded. Okay? And then, doon naman sa number of transactions, ganun din, kung wala nagtetrade dito sa song stock, then more or less, may hirapan ka in terms of liquidity on buying and then selling your stock. Diba? Okay? And then another one here, makikita nyo yung ating news. So meron din dito news. So kung gusto mong chumika dun sa mga stocks, dito makikita mo siya under the news. Nandito yung mga updates for the stock market. Okay? And then meron ka pa rin dito makiklik yung ating first metro sec tab. Nandito yung kanila mga tweets. And nandito yung mga updates sa certain companies and then certain macroeconomic factors. So for example, si Security Bank or si SECB. So it book first quarter 2021 net income of 1.6% billion which is down by 42% year per year di ba ayun so makikita niyo siya dito under the news yung mga chika about the stocks and then yung mga updates about their earnings and then disclosures nandito yan under the news tab okay and then yung last dito na makikita niyo under the market tab natin is yung ating first metro security so dito nakalagay yung mga announcements ni first metro securities and makikita niyo rin dito kung i-click niyo tong reports meron din sila dito mga reports so nandito yung mga consensus And then, meron din dito mga traders playbook. So, itong traders playbook para to do sa mga tao na gustong itry technical analysis ni First Metro Securities. Pero, let me just remind you na hindi ito 100% guaranteed. So, try natin mag-open ang isa. So, ito si RRHI Traders Playbook. I-download natin. So, click nyo lang siya and then mapupunta kayo sa download page. And then, ayan. So, download nyo lang siya and then buksan nyo. And then ito, pag nabuksan nyo na siya, then lalabas yung kanilang technical analysis. So ito, si RAE siya, meron siya ditong graph, and then meron siya ditong trading plan. So kung wala kayong trading plan, you might try this. So ito, makikita nyo dito, yung ating trading plan, buying once the stock trades above 53.4% is advisable. And then, lighten position once RRHI trades below 50 pesos. So, in yung trading plan. And then, kung ako sa inyo, then you have to do your own technical analysis. And do not rely kahit na broker itong si First Metro Securities. You still have to do your own technical analysis. Kasi, it is your money. So, you should be the one responsible in deciding where to invest your money. Diba? Okay? So, that's all for the market tab. So, let us move on to the next tab natin, which is yung ating stock tab. Dito sa stock tab, marami rin kayo magagamit ng mga functions ng First Metro Securities na application. So, tara, puntahan natin itong stock. So, click nyo lang itong stock. And then, may itin dito, unang-una, yung ating quick quote. So, pwede kayo actually mag-search ng stock. Click nyo lang itong stock na may search na icon. So, click nyo yan. And then, nandito lahat ng companies na pwede nyo i-trade. Okay? So, nakabilang dyan si AC, Ayala Corporation. So, kung hindi kayo familiar dun sa mga specific na stock code, then just Google it. Diba? Kasi si Ayala Corporation, hindi nyo alam na AC siya. Diba? AC yung dapat mong i-type. Then, just Google it. Diba? Pero, most of the time naman, kung ano yung initials niya, then basically, nanggagaling din yun sa kanyang pangalan. Kwari ito, si Ayala Corporation. Then basically, AC. ba diba? Si SM Investments Corporation, SM. And then SM Prime Holdings, SMPH. So as time passes by naman, kung beginner kayo ngayon, masa sa ulo nyo din yan and mapafamiliarize kayo dun sa ating mga stock code. Pero kung hindi nyo sa ulo, you can just Google it. And nandito, meron din naman silang listahan dito. For example, AC, ba diba? Ayala Corporation. And then, AGI, Alliance Global Group Inc. And then, Ayala Land Inc., Ali, di ba? So, ito, sample natin si Ali, click natin si Ali, ano yung lalabas? So, dito, makikita mo yung ating quick code. So, ano yung ibig sabihin na itong quick code? Dito, sa ating left side, makikita nyo yung ating bid vol and then bid. Dito, sa ibig sabihin ng bid volume, ito yung number of shares na binibili 
at 31.2 level. Okay, so ayan, again, bid volume and then bid is actually the buyer side. Okay, so 318.80,000 yung gustong bumili dito sa ating 31.2 na presyo ni Ayala Land. And then dito naman sa right side, makikita nyo yung ating seller side. Yan yung ating tinatawag na ask and then ask volume. So, so sa seller side, 31.5 pesos, meron tayong 81,200 shares na binebenta dyan sa ating 31.5 na level. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng ating bid and ask. Again, bid is buyer and then ask is seller. Okay? And then, click nyo itong drop down ulit natin. So, makikita nyo dito yung other na mga tabs nya. ba? Diba? Meron dyan profile. So, click natin itong profile. Dito sa profile, makikita nyo yung information about the company and what business are they engaged in. So, nakalagay dito, Ayala Land is engaged in the real estate property. So, ayan, kung di nyo alam yung industry, makikita nyo siya dito actually sa profile. And then, nandito rin yung kanya mga board members and then yung kanya mga executives, contact info, website, and other information under the profile tab. Okay? And then, click nyo ulit yung ating dropdown. Meron din tayo dito, research. Dito sa research, actually, magagamit ko siya, di ba? Nakalagay dito kay Ayala Land. So, ang rating niya for First Metro Securities is a buy. Okay? 5.0 buy. So, ibig sabihin, it is actually cheap yung ating Ayala Land at 31.2 level. Ang kanilang target dito, 37 pesos yung ating immediate na target profit. So, that's around 5.8 pesos per share, di ba? So, for example, bumili ka ng 1,000 shares ni Ayala Land Inc. Then, 5.80 per share yung pwede mong kitain, di ba? 5.80 times 1,000 shares. So, that's around 5,800 pesos. So, exclusive of the tax. So, wag muna natin isama yung mga taxes, okay? So, maliit lang naman yun, around 1%, di ba? Okay. And then, nandito meron din siyang average na target price. So, ang average target price is actually nasa 45 pesos level. So, if you're going to buy at 31.2, then you can actually earn up to 14 pesos, di ba? Ayan. And then, yung highest niya is 55.5. So, kung swerte-swerte ka, then pwedeng pumalo ng 55.5 si Ayala na, di ba? So, that's around 24.3 pesos, di ba? So, napakalaki ng upside. Okay, pero mas maganda sana kung nilagay nila dito yung risk din, di ba? So, ano yung immediate support nito si Ayala Land? Para makita nyo rin kung gano'n pa siya pwedeng bumaba, di ba? Okay, so ayan yung target nila ng mga prices kung bibili kayo at 31.2 right now, okay? So, dito sa baba, makikita nyo yung ating market cap. So, when we say market cap, it is actually the value of the company as a whole. So, assuming bibili mo si Ayala Land Inc. ng 100% yung kanya mga shares, then you need at least 459.007 billion, di ba? Napakalaking pera na. Eh, sino ba yung may ganyang salapi, di ba? Ayan. So, yung ibig sabihin ng market capitalization, the higher the market capitalization, the less volatile a stock is. Kasi kapag ka malaki yung market capitalization mo, and then malaki din yung free float shares mo, then basically, napakahirap i-move ng mga prices natin. Kasi napakarami ng available shares sa public, di ba? So, bago mo ma-move yung price na yan, madaming pipila dyan, di ba? Okay, so ayan, expect less volatility sa ating mga higher market capitalization na mga companies. Okay, pero yung mga higher market capitalization companies kasi natin, limited na yung price upside niya kasi nga medyo malaki na siya and ayun, so limited na lang yung growth niya, di ba? Okay, so ayun yung news ng ating market capitalization. And dito, makikita nyo rin sa baba, meron din tayong valuation and then price performance for the past 12 months, 9 months, 6 months, 3 months, 1 month, and then average. So makikita nyo dito sa Ayala Land, So, very bugbog talaga ito si Ayala Land. So, kung makikita yung 12 months na change niya from the March crash, negative 4%, di ba? Nag-crash pa siya after nung last year na crash, di ba? Right now, negative 4% pa siya. And then, 9 months change na, negative 6%. And then, from 6 months, negative 21%, di ba? So, yung ibig sabihin na price performance. Okay? And then, click ulit natin itong ating drop down. So, makikita nyo dito yung next natin, yung stock news. Ayan, kung gusto nyo makachika, lahat ng disclosure specific to Ayala Land, dito nyo matatagpuan sa ating stock news. Okay? And then, click nyo ulit itong drop down. Ang next natin dito is yung ating charts. So, dito sa charts, makikita nyo yung actually yung ating price movement. So, ayan, meron dyan 1 day, 1 month, 3 months, 6 months, 1 year, year to date, 3 years, and then 5 years. So, click natin isa-isa. So, from 1 day, makikita nyo yung ating movement very downtrend yung movement niya for a day. Then, check natin yung 1 month. Ang 1 month chart niya, downtrend pa din, di ba? And then, 3 months, check natin yung ating 3 months. So, downtrend pa din. 3 months na siyang downtrend. And then, check natin yung 6 months. 6 months, downtrend pa din si Ayala lang, di ba? So, napakalaking na nung ibinagsak niya from around 42 pesos. Now, it's around 31.20 pesos. And, tingnan natin yung 1 year niya. 
Ang one year performance niya actually ayan. So makikita niyo dito, ganito talaga yung stock market cycle natin, di ba? So it goes up and then it goes down and then it stays there for a while and then it goes up and then it goes down again. So right now nandito na naman tayo sa down na phase and then expect na natin yung ating accumulation and then ayan. So kung pagka-recover na tayo, then basically magkakaroon na tayo ng markup. Okay? So dito pinakamasarap mag-invest kapag ka accumulation phase na tayo to early stage of the markup, di ba? So hintayin na lang na natin na maka-recover ito. And then we can expect a higher return kapag ka naka-recover ito, di ba? Pero pwede pa rin siya bumaba kasi kung titingnan niyo yung price niya ngayon, is around 31.2, di ba? And last year, it is able to go down as low as 26.50. So, kung 31.2 ngayon, pwede pa rin siya bumaba ng up to 26.5. Pero kung may measure niyo yung risk reward ratio niyo, di ba? Pwede siyang bumaba ng 26.5. So, that's around 5 pesos na pwede niya ibaba. Pero yung pinakamataas niya dito, so around 42 0.1. So, pwede kang kumita ng up to 10 pesos halos, di ba? From this stock, di ba? Kung may measure natin yung risk reward ratio, 5 pesos, pwede niya ibaba. And then, ang pwede niya itaas is around 10 pesos. So, ayun yung risk reward ratio natin. Almost 2 na, di ba? Okay? So, huwag kayong basta-basta bibili muna ng Ayala Lana. So, perform technical analysis muna bago kayong bumili, di ba? Doon kasi sa technical analysis, makikita nyo kung, uy, pwede na ba siyang mag-recover based dito sa ating technical analysis. So, ayun yung silbe ng technical analysis. So, it can help you determine whether to buy a stock already. Okay?